Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where so we're supposed where to go. where do you go? Yeah. I guess backtracking in this world might lead to something new. Lead to a new area, yeah. That creature never showed up again. Ooh. That car is when constantly looking behind him. He seems paranoid about something. Ooh. There's a that knife guy's doing in the kingdom of Rondon. <laughs> he looks like he's doing the, the Peter Griffin pose. Yeah. <laughs> she is scared, dismembered, and badly beaten. Dead, in other words, seems like her ribs are crushed by an intense force. Oh, great. The ancient doors are sealed tightly. Uh, sealed tightly. Yeah, they won't budge. Okay. It was that? Da yeah. Uh, oh, was that the lady? Yeah. Dars? No, it was not. This is blonde. Search her. You undress a knight and take her plate mail and longsword with you. She also has two blue vials with her. Oh, nice. That's really good. Yeah. They are not collectively doing well, as it turns out. Having a bad time. All right, we're going to give Lagarde whiskey. Damn, that's need, the good stuff. I, yeah, that's I, need a 50. Him to, I need him to chill out. What do you want to smoke? <laughs> Everything, bro. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Hi. <laughs> Have you seen my rated Pokemon cards? <laughs> I have an 8.5 misprint Charizard. All right. Hey, we bye. All right, so we got rid of that thing. I mean, that's the thing that killed us last time, wasn't it? So this is like yeah, as did, far as we've gone. Did it kill you the first time you came here? I think so. Hmm. There's a chest, but you can't go down there, can you? Yeah, no, I can't. This is all very mysterious, very not clear. Oh, dusty old books filled a bookshelf. Some of them are partly rotten and moldy. Okay, so we have a different. We have more chances at like books and scrolls here. Alchemilia Volume One. That's great. That's one that we need. Blood and flower magic. We already had. Mwah, 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 mwah. All right, I am gonna read Alchemilia so that I have crafting recipes. The recipes. Yep. Blue, Blue red greener, these. red herb. Finally. Now we finally know we can eat cave moss. We would have never figured this out on our own. Yes. <laughs> we have right. not had the mix of red and blue herb for a while. Time to get dismembered and have to start over. <laughs> Ooh, what is uh. happening? Uh. Epilepsy Flashing light warning. warning. Flashing light warning. What the fuck? Oh, we're fading. We're going away from the, the lighthouse. What so an unpleasant the illusion visual. is dissipating. Ooh, I did not mean to tear that. <laughs> uh, right. row. This doesn't let me save. This just lets me rest. So yeah, we do have to find our way through this. Got it. So you think that the Kingdom of Rondon is the way forward in the story? I think whatever we're seeing here is going to be meaningful. I'm ready, Almer. Take me. I'm ready to meet my end. This is as far as I got. I can't get any satisfaction. There's no I can't fulfillment. Get, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've reached the limits as feeble, feeble body can withstand. There's no silver lining waiting at the end. The purpose of us all is to sliver under the cold sun the gods have set above us. And then what happened? What's that? These visions. I see. I understand. Let me down from here. Huh. So he was gonna, he was gonna do the, he was gonna do the S word. Any and comments on that? Sacrifice himself. Any comments on that, Enki, who is still here in front of us? Nope, no, they got no words for me. Let's see, I'll try to talk to them, but I don't think it will do anything. 
This is a mere hallucination. It has no effect on me. <laughs> okay. What can this the new gods, do? it will bring us to the paradise. The past millennia, we've been at the mercy of the older gods in their reign. It's time for mankind to take matters into their own hands with the rise of the new gods. I thought they might be friendly, but when you were playing as Anki, they attacked you. Yeah. Maybe the ones just here will are, are haven't gone mad yet. They don't have the bulletaria fog disease yet. You brought this to yourself. Sins must be paid. Damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> Damn straight. We did this to ourselves. We sinned oh. too much. <laughs> Any plague is a force. moral failing. Oh, there's Ragnar Fogger. Uh, Ragnar What, what is, is this? this? I don't know why I'm. So, I don't know why I voiced it. You can do it. Ulf, are you still alive? No. <laughs> <coughs> He's coughing like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnavalder, you came. They, they came while you were gone. Those knights. Who were they? The Knights of the Midnight Sun. Knights of the Midnight Sun? <laughs> the pretty man with the locks of a fair maiden. Yeah, he's very Griffith. <laughs> yeah. The captain, he wanted the... <laughs> what we brought from the Vinland. I think I'm going to sleep now. Ulve, rest in peace. All right. Huh. <gasps> Not Casca, <laughs> Hilda, <laughs> and Bjorn. And then he ran the other way. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty brutal. They really yeah. messed, messed your buds Everyone's up. Everyone's missing chunks. So these must be the trials. I've determined internally that these were the trials. Yeah, it's it's everyone losing who was close to them. Distant barking. Here they come. This can't be unforgivable unforgivable oh it's grandma hello oh Akira Kurosawa's I'm full. I know film history. <laughs> Try talking some sense into this monstrosity. Wow, rude. Uh, what is your origin? Skin Granny Skin. doesn't react to your words. <laughs> oh! oh no! She's worse now. <laughs> That's much worse. <laughs> what an actual nightmare of a character. What the fuck? Oh, Enki. Um? Eh. Oh.
the saddest time to have to use healing items in the middle, like in the middle of combat. Oh. oh. Well, we can go get Dars, I guess. <laughs> What even happens to items when someone dies? Do you loot them off their body? Do you lose them forever? Yeah, you can loot them off their body, I think. Oh, a crit. Holy smokes. You did it. And there were no yeah. consequences. They believe you're from one of the prophecies. Hmm. Those ancient texts are but child's wordplay. Of course, that doesn't mean that I shouldn't use them to my advantage. But really, many things are scarily accurate in the prophecy. It talks about the fair-haired man and the one who rivals gods in both power and beauty. Huh. I thought all the older gods were ugly as hell. Don't tell me you buy that stuff, too. Nilvan of the new gods is supposedly beautiful, just as the tormented one used to be. The texts also speak he who unites the warring states not by the power of the golden staff, but by the power of dozen pitchforks. Well, all kings hate me at this point. So that one line I can agree with. I will strive to unify these lands, be it in the prophecies or not. No matter the cost. He's Griffith. <laughs> no, he's extremely Griffith. Yeah, this, this, this is Griffith is and Casca. Very, very berserk, yeah. But. I feel like I'm really close to achieving my goals, but that last step is not clear. It's still shrouded in the mist. I'm not certain if this is the path to achieve all this. What do you mean? You're just a step away from founding your own kingdom and becoming one of the most fabled rulers of our time. You'd make a great ruler, I'm sure of it. Common people love you already. I'm sure of it, she says. What difference would it make anyway? The, his the history has proven time and time again that order, virtue, and tranquility don't last. I need something definite, something pure. I need to ascend above the kings and queens of our times. The last step isn't shrouded in the mist. It's waiting in the depths of the darkness. The guard, I need to ask what this campaign in the north is all about? I don't quite understand the importance expanding our reign all the way over there. Frankly, I'm afraid such campaign could have negative impact on your reputation. Thanks for your honest words, Dars. However, my mind is set. The campaign in the north is vital to my plans. They have something that belongs to me. The cube is basically the behelet. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. Something that belongs to you? What are you talking about? I have to reach greater heights. This is the only way. This is the way. <laughs> but a bare breasted new god appears before you. Oh, new one, I must ask you a favor. 
Our time has come. This form of existence isn't the answer we were looking for. For mankind to break free, we need more. We need someone equal in size and stature to them. Nilvan rubs her slightly swollen belly. Please, I ask of you, just get my child out of here. Take her to the heart of the darkness. Would gladly gift my soul to you if you were to agree on these terms. What do you think? Agree or refuse? Uh, sure. We we are we we we're in the arc to appease Nilvan specifically. I think so far. Yeah. Thank you. We're the flesh homunculus nightmare person fusion man. Well, Syl Sylvian is the one that that we prayed to, one of the old gods. This is the new god of beauty. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You get the endless soul. Even okay. there being four of them makes me feel like it's like a competition between you or Lamarche, or between you and fuck. Uh, to Lagarde. become the new Lagarde, to become the new uh, god hand. Yeah. Oh. Here lies Anki. did not survive. Uh, do we want to run through that? If you die in the dream, you die for real. Do we want to run? Do we want to run through that real quick to try and make Enki survive that fight? Uh, you can. Be a lot of button mashing. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just keep moving. It's fine. We can always go get Dars if we really need another companion. Ugh. This might like actually. That. Well, honestly, that might be a better... Damn it, I forgot to grab their armor. That actually is a big waste. Uh, let's do that really womp, quickly. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Enki's infected now, so they're probably just dead. <laughs> Fear is getting hold of you. The ease at which people are just prepared to do this is absolutely wild. Alright. Uh, just go. Otherwise, I'm fine. I just need to use a... Wendell's portrait just looks more metal now. There we go. Uh, dried meat. Uh, my hunger's pretty good. I do need to heal. Blue vial. He needs it. Alright, let's save right now. Enki, I swear to God, if you leave me right now because I don't have beer to give you, I'm going to lose my mind. You have 48 mind. You are doing okay. You need if to you chill out. If you leave me now, you take away the last half an hour of my life. There you go. Enki's high as fuck, yo. Oh, oh I again. saw the thing. Yeah. What was that? There That's we go. That's what I saw the first time. <laughs> okay, so we just, we just let... Uh, let Enki do some drugs and things worked out. We already, uh, we did the thing. Why are you repeating? I said, don't talk. <laughs> Never talk. I just you don't lost know a limb what we're supposed to do now. And gained no progress. I, I have no idea. Are we supposed to wait for Serval down here to like wake up from his weird trance and tell us something? Explosive vial. Nope. nope. <laughs> okay, Rocks then. fall, everyone dies. Oopsies. There's so many weird loose ends, like... What is the purpose of the amalgam thing? The cave... Uh, gargoyle lady? Mother? I think it's theirs to... I think... So my, my guess here, and this is just me kind of grasping at straws at the end of the game, is... The, uh, the cave harpy is literally just there to be a trap if we attack all the eggs. If we don't attack the eggs, we can milk her for yellow fluid, which, if we get a RNG book, allows us to craft certain things. On the other hand, the, uh, I think the flesh amalgam is just another thing for the kid resource economy. I don't know if it will even do anything for us. Like, I am uh, deeply under the impression that it's right next to the girl, so that when it's like, uh, feed, feed me a kid. Oh. Hi. What is that? How are you uh, doing, buddy? <laughs> Uh, 
How you doing, Socket Man? <laughs> we'll see. I just want to see what this does. I want to fight this thing and just see what happens. That was just that was quite the intro noise. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, right. you got him. What does this do? Search him. Kudra has nothing of value. His skin. skin. Him. The skin of the Redman is chewy. The skinning knife feels too weak to puncture the skin properly. Please don't He's describe skin as chewy. He's too chewy. <laughs> He's too chewy to skin. What the fuck? Yuck. Oh, we're in an older version of the world. The effects of the cube vanish, so that's why. Interesting. Well. <laughs> that, <was smart. laughs> that very much worked. Too heavy to use. Okay. Nisramus is not here. Now you can take all the stuff. Heck yeah. <laughs> Scroll of the church of Sylvan. Attack you. Explosive vials. Explosive vial. Ring of wraiths. That's actually very good for us, and we should be equipping that right now. It's the healing one, isn't it? Yeah. That's incredibly powerful to have, yeah. I guess the weakness of, of headless of head, oh. oh Lord, oh, Lord. give enlightenment. That's enlightenment. where it was. Okay. This is where you saw it. So that's how you write a scroll to get a save point. Okay. You find ancient book. The book feels very special and has hefty weight to it. Like a siren's call, the book is calling to you. It's macabre. Leather coverings look irresistible. I thought we saw that before. So it was in here. In your yeah. very brief visit in the one time that we did kill the statue. And then we're like, that was worth it. Passages of Mahabra, Alchemilia Volume 2, Book of Forgotten Memories. That might oh, give us boy. answers about Mahabra and what to do. Yeah, uh, that's the one that teleports me to Mahabra so that I can I can do stuff. They, I can like oh. open chests and stuff. Book hmm. of Forgotten Memories, a book with fine decorated covers. The book radiates a certain dignity. Dogman. As you, as you open the book, you feel warmth and nostalgia that cannot be explained. Memories of your past life flash before your eyes, but some of these memories are not of yours. You remember your ancestors leading a simple yet violent life of mercenaries. You remember how riches and wealth dictated your masters, all while holding a grasp at freedom by traveling across the known continents. You remember, while murdering cold blood, murdering in cold blood your victims on a highway heist, you had a greeting with the wolf deity of the northern parts. You remember how for a price of your beloved ones, you could attain greater knowledge. You agreed, of course, but the greedy bastard you were. That was weird English. You remember yeah, the wolf kind of deity teaching right you. Yeah. You remember the wolf deity teaching you his greatest secret. You remember steel. <laughs> okay. His greatest secret was to steal things. I never knew this without him. Thank you, wolf <laughs> deity. I'm a bandit. I wouldn't have known this without him. What are you, the fucking serpent in Eden? We were so pure, we never thought of stealing. Ancient book. That is the Necronomicon straight up. All right, what let's do go this. wrong? Use the Hexen. Use the Hexen. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, on guard. Ooh, that seems useful. Pheromones, loving whispers, healing whispers, black orb, locust swarm, mastery over insects, flock of crows, counter magic. Interesting. Like that area Legs down there is that, is that R we've seen? Devour, marksmanship. Yeah, so this is every single character's different skills. What is that one? I want to see what's down here. Blood portal. <laughs> what is that? Normal. I think you Why have to go. Let me? I think you have to reach it on a sphere grid logic from the glowing ones. Oh. You have to your soul the path. To, uh, okay. I have on guard. Blood golem. Interesting. Oop. That'd be 
You probably don't. You probably need a party member slot for that, though. Yeah, probably. Pheromones, sure. <laughs> Loving whispers, sure. Okay. The other one was healing whispers. Okay, so we got some more you, skills. You don't want a healing skill? I I couldn't afford it. I could only get. I thought you had whispers. one more. Oh. I had one more, but I don't think it was within the the range of the. You were right next to healing whispers by the eye. Yeah, but I think I can only get the ones that are within the the radius of that circle. Uh. Yeah, I can't. Weird. I could get the other one because that's the one tied to my actual class. I think. All right, back so to the village. Oh, so you think each of those circles is the radius of how much bond you have with each of the gods? Yeah, exactly. That's what I think it is. And I have to... So, like, the one that's, like, loving whispers is, like, that was tied to maybe Sylvian, and I had one little thing in it because I did the love ceremony. And then yeah, the yeah, other so one... Because you haven't fucked the rabbits in this timeline. Yeah, I haven't had a you bunch fool. of... I haven't banged a bunch of the rabbits. The hubris of not joining the rabbit orgy so you can gain a healing spell that's sex-based. Yeah. Unbelievable. A huge creature is lying here dormant. How do I wake it up? But how how do Maybe I wake never. it up? Maybe never. You feel a twist inside as you take the book from your satchel. You feel a great urge to open the book, but at the same time, you feel like the consequences might be terrible. Read the book. <laughs> Turns out this book is the very book many legends tell about. It goes by many names. The Rite of Madness, Al-Azif. Al-Azif is the name of the Necronomicon in a bunch of Lovecraft stories. The Testament of Grogoroth, Ex Mortis, and the Necronomicon. Look at that. I'm literary. I've read books. Wow. And so have they. Congrats. Those, those lips. The book is summoning powers that exceed your understanding. Next to this ancient presence, you're nothing but a feeble ant. You cannot contain your fear. You lose your mind. You just instantly <laughs> die if you open the Necronomicon and that's all it does. I mean, if I lose the coin flip, I assume. Dang. Oh, right. So I guess the question becomes right now, like, what do you, what do you do? How do you move past the door? All right, let's, uh, you know what? Let's kill the uteruses because... Maybe that's the next thing we got. Just because they're there. Just in Just because they're there. Exactly. The secrets to attack the baby specifically. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Didn't that come up recently? Like you curse the men via their umbilical cords or- <laughs> Oh no, no, we don't like that even a little bit. Oh my God. What a beautiful nightmare. He's coming! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Why is that thing have more health than anything you've ever fought? Well, I'm happy we saw that nightmare. <laughs> but we're going to have to do it, like, four more times. <laughs> thing doesn't have head, arms, or a baby. <laughs> Mannequin is down. Search her. Nothing of useful. Skin her. Wow. The surface of the uterus is actually too hard for the skinning knife. <laughs> There's nothing of use in that uterus. <laughs> the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Nope. Oops. That's fine. We just want to disable the arms on this thing, I think, immediately. And then immediately start attacking the baby. 
the baby. All right, that was a good. That, that quickly becomes damage. the focus of all combat. It's just dismantle every attacking bit as fast as you can. Yes. Because they have so many options at first. Are we still in the timeline where you beat the Lord of Flies? Yes. I'm trying to remember where that was at this point. It was in the past version of this room. Ah! A gaping the hole fuck? in the wall. Investigate. You can't see anything in there. The hole seems to be part of the building structure. Perhaps it's just a large gap between walls. Feel it out. You can't feel anything. But there was a guy. There was a little guy. There was a little guy in there. What the fuck? He was just a little dude. Have we ever seen that before? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> what are we missing in this zone? I'm losing my mind. This thing's gonna shoot lasers out of its eyes and like kill us instantly. After all this setup, yeah. The the fucking behemoth used meteor. Alright, so we're we just gotta kill kill this thing. This horrible night. This fight doesn't creature. seem so bad, then suddenly Oh my god. God, this thing takes so much damage. <laughs> This thing's design is so terrifying. It just does not look right. No. The boobs are so spread out. It's the eyes for me. Weird. It's like yeah, the, it's like an alien's idea of a head. Of a, of a human what face. Head, I feel like I've seen a drawing that looks a lot like that before. Yeah. Like a famous thing. It definitely feels inspired by something like they tend to do. Yeah. Scroll of the Black Arts. All right. Bug-eyed figurine. Human, I am what they call a wizard, but I do not wear a pointy hat. How are you a wizard, then? I, smell, <laughs> I sell magical artifacts, even if they are precious to me. You have 99 so... <gasps> uh, uh -huh -huh. Are they real or fake? This guy was a merchant. Oh, my God. And he sells things. And you actually keep selling things. And we missed this? Apparently. You fool. Click on Sorcerer's every wall. Stone. <laughs> Wait. How can Enki hold the Morning Star and have a shield when they're missing an arm? Very talented. Interesting. Maybe it's on the same arm. <laughs> the wrist shield. Yeah, okay, I don't want him to wear the Ring of Wraiths. I want him to have the monocle. Oh, okay, Enki cannot hold it with one arm, that's why. Okay. Th uh, this, this, ga this game exists in a showers only universe. It, it, it certainly does. The good old days. The good old days. The good old days. What does that mean? Am I am I right? What are you what are you what are you suggesting? <laughs> am I about? right, fellas? What does good old days mean? They they what agree does that with mean? Me. The good what old does that days. Mean? What what everyone just walked around, dong out. I meant I meant showers as as opposed to growers. <laughs> Yeah, the the guild. It was back during the reign of the Guild of Showers. We didn't we didn't have to deal yeah, with any of this grower BS. Famous you know? conscious choice. <laughs> this this is this is a hill I'm gonna die on. The fuck? All right. Uh, how the ah? What do we do? What do we do? I don't know what we do. <laughs> Uh, what do we do? What do we do? I don't know what to do. Uh, what do we do? Okay. 
Uh, I'm getting scared. Yeah, I am. I'm getting terrified right now because I yeah. have no idea what to do. This game gives you the anxiety of having all of your stats constantly go down while also not knowing where to go. Pipe. Tobacco. So your situation Had can exclusively get worse. Yeah. Nishra. Maybe like we just never need been to, able to keep go... sleeping and, and keep having dreams? I don't know. You've like never managed to go <gasps> upstairs yet? Oh. oh, it was this thing! Hi! The Harvestman. Oh. You finally I should found have the saved. Thing. Oh my god, I should have saved. How much has even happened? I can't ever tell what's, when the last save was. Uh, it was after I finished the dream. Uh, I mean, have you done, have you, do you want to keep anything that's happened since then? I mean, yeah. Well. <laughs> it's fine. R.I.P. You finally found something. Where Harvestman the sack of skin. Yeah. The Harvestman pets gently you? pets me. I do not like this. Ooh. Quick, CBT, CBT. He looks like a Courage of the Cowardly Dog character. <laughs> I feel like his head's just gonna come out, come after you, floating around. God, he really is just a Harvestman, the gross little bug. I mean, Harvestman spiders are terrifying. Oh. Hadervalder's party was victorious. He's dead. The Harvestman is down. Beat him. No reaction, but it is satisfying. Search him. He has nothing. He just made a spider with a penis. That's just what I made. I don't believe in that thing. I don't so, want I, that. Have you... Uh, okay, you have been here before. Yeah. He just can't... He just surprised... Was just there now? Yeah. After oh. I... Uh, after I went through the... He was the thing in the hole in the wall. Oh, yeah, probably. That's funny because I just saw the tweet from Jimmy that was like, Fought the Harvestman, don't recommend it. And you fucking well, we kind of killed it turn. pretty easily, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're just really OP. You're just so like, strong now. I'm a big strong only, man. If only you had a strong sense of direction. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that, audience? Keith just called me a big strong guy. Inept strength that can't go anywhere at this point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where do I go? He's just there now. How do you get downstairs? It feels like this is where we're supposed to go. But at the same time, there's nothing here. So... What's in the... Wait. Hmm. Oh no, we've missed this for so long. What? Look at where that light's coming from. Right there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a hidden laboratory located in the back alleys of the city. Just south from here. There I can finally retain my body and my strength. What's gonna happen to me after that? What is going to happen to me, you ask? What are you, a little girl? <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, yes! I'll crush you if I feel like it. That's what's going to happen. Well, everyone in this party seems worth having in your party. <laughs> the moment I, I like saw the guy. fucking light source coming from not you, I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There's the, uh, oh, there he is. There there's are the more of them. Th there's the one we saw roaming, and then on the left, this is this like archway. Yeah. So this is where the chest should. No. No. We're the on the left the side. That was right. on the right. Right. So there's okay. there's even more and more of them. Oh, thank God. We only lost three hours of this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay. I tried. All I wanted was to resurrect her. I loved her so. But now I am a prisoner waiting for my miserable end. Hope we will once again meet, joined in the afterlife. The handwriting of the journal itself looks like several hundred years old. How can you tell just by looking at handwriting Eyeball. that it's a hundred years old? <laughs> Look at the face on the tube. <laughs> There's something written here. Why, why, why? What is the secret? Why won't it work? 
A water tank is set here. You see the creature floating inside. The creature's got no eyes. You can peer into the darkness inside its eye sockets. The darkness peers back at you. You feel shaken. Great. I've Two got no vials. eyes. I've got no mouth. I've got no tongue. I've got a broken face. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 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 Never. I love I love this game so much sometimes. <laughs> uh, I love when you're not in combat and stuff just happens at you and you're like <laughs> We keep getting blood and flower magic one. I need blood and flower magic two or three, preferably. <laughs> oh my god. Those moments this make this whole thing worth it. This is the grand library many legends speak of? Enki left your party? What? <laughs> Enki, Congrats. you pile. You took, Big Hat, you took Big Hat Logan to his end of quest location. You can go fuck yourself now. Congrats. Uh, the tale of pocket cat. <gasps> the oh tale my of God. pocket cat. This is all stuff we've read before. The There's books are in languages we can't understand. A few statues. A sturdy ancient door here. The door is practically solid stone and there's no way of breaking it. Find a torch. Torch. Right. We will read all that, uh, all that, that book to keep second. Anki and he's just gone. <sighs> hey, all these people have a tor ulterior motive, so they eventually will leave you for whatever the thing is, probably. The Fellowship Chapter 2. The bookshelf is simply stacked too full. Can't pull anything out. The Fellowship Chapter 1 original, so they were edited. Mmm. That's actually an interesting thing to include. Empty scroll. Okay, that's really good. Can I just add Enki back to my party by typing give Dars or give Enki? <laughs> <laughs> give Enki. The upside of not having leveling is that you can just go get a different character and it's it doesn't matter that you left them behind for six hours. Yeah. Oh, Alchemilia. Tales of Pocket Cat, too. I can't wait to hear the Tales of Pocket Cat. There's yeah, Enki there's down Enki, there. There's Enki down there. Oh, oh we're in Cthulhu. Latria. Alchemilia Volume 1. We've gotten it a bunch it's of times. It's one of the coolest locations in video games. Yeah. Items. Uh, book. Alchemilia Volume One. I've already read this, but we want the we want the goodies. The goodies. Yeah, we want the the recipes. Tail of Pocket Cat. The Tail of Pocket Cat. <laughs> Look at that one. picture. It was a rainy day in the countryside just north from the forest of Merwood. Willem, the wildest child known in town, would stare at the raindrops behind the window screen. His mother would warn him of going outside. During rain, decent boys would help their parents with various indoor tasks. Rain brings forth all kinds of dangers not otherwise known to little boys. Disregarding the warnings and without a worry in the world, Willem dashed to the bushes and ran deep into the Merwood, I guess. It's gone off the screen. Bye bye. <laughs> in the heart of the forest, all it's, it's a metaphor for how he's leaving to, to safety. In the heart of the forest, all wet from the rain, Willem heard slight panting noises from the overgrown grotto nearby. Cautiously, Willem peeked through the leaves. He would not believe his eyes when he saw a finely dressed cat standing on two feet, twice as tall as Willem's father would be. Willem's father was not very tall. No. The cat's back was facing Willem. Its hand was moving swiftly inside its pocket, while the two big yellow eyes gleed inside a burlap bag in great excitement. Glee the verb. <laughs> Suddenly, the hand of movement came to a halt. Even if Willem was well hidden behind the leaves, slowly the cat turned its eyes towards him. Oh, inconsistent on the... Uh, posture. If they were doing it correctly a second ago, now they're not. The ter in terror, Willem ran as fast as he could towards his home. The two glowing yellow eyes of the cat haunted him all the way to his home gates. 
His mother was there to meet him by the front door. So, you have had to... You just had to go into the woods, did you? Said his mother. You saw something you shouldn't have, right? Questioned his mother. And how do I know this? Willem's mother would go inside to get a little parcel with decorated wrappings. This appeared on the front door just before you came. It was directed to young Willem. Oh. Slowly, Willem unwrapped the decorated paper with small mouse prints on it. It's hard to tell when quotes are happening because they're also within quotes. The double yes. quotes. <laughs> Inside the parcel, there was catnip. All right. Where's Tales of Pocket Cat 2? Here we go. The town of Murwood was in a festive mood. It was the beginning of the harvest season, and food was plentiful. Willem's mother and father were arranging a large party for all the big families in town. Even some noble ones were supposed to show up from outside of the town. Willem had to wear his Sunday suit, the suit he would typically wear when going to the church on Sundays. Needless to say, the suit wasn't to Willem's liking. Now, now. Now, now, you know we need to make good impressions to the city folk, his mother would say. Why, why should I care, said Willem. Willem's mother would pull him by the ear violently and say, Don't you understand our livelihood depends on those noble and fancy? Willem shrugged it off and nodded. It is important to obey your parents, after all, if you're going to grow up even somewhat decent and moral. I think child children don't care about. Ah! It is even written in the Book of Our Lord, the Bible of Almer. Ah, so he worships Almer. The party guests started coming as the sun set. The festive people were, all, uh, were of all kinds. You had the well-eaten mayor of the town, and his wife, who was so young she couldn't have been more than three years older than Willem. You had the Parkinsons from the next door, with their faces forever set on an expression of pure disgust. There were also many people Willem had never seen before, especially one gay gentleman with a constant grin on his face caught Willem's attention. The man also noticed young Willem. He winked his eye, even though otherwise his face was set in the same grin all the time. The gentleman gave Willem jeepers creepers. <laughs> <laughs> That's just something funny about using that phrase here. Yeah, no. Because I know this, this almost certainly is going to a very distress, distressing outcome, but just the stupid fucking phrasing it in there. As the full moon had risen the highest and the festive people were at their most cocked, Willem noticed the gay gentleman gone. All these cocked gay gentlemen. After a short search, we he found the man from their backyard, howling at the moon. This already made young Willem very nervous, but then the man turned his gaze towards Willem. <laughs> His eyes were the same as the two haunting yellow eyes Willem had seen in the Merwood Forest some days ago, I figured. Which is why this is worrying. Yeah. Suddenly, Willem realized the size of the man. For some reason, he had not realized it before, but the man was almost the same height as their house. What if that? He has no perception. He just did, didn't realize that someone yeah. was two stories tall. <laughs> I feel like it's implied that he somehow changed height or something. Yes. Like it's, just, it's just incomprehensible. <laughs> With a cat-like expression, the man would say, Fancy meeting you here, young mister. Oh, yeah, famous cat expressions. <laughs> My cat Cats says that who, to me every time I come home. Yeah. No, I mean the facial, like, like, like the idea that the kid is making a cat facial expression, as, even though it's supposed yeah. to be like he's grinning ear to ear. and like. Colon you're three. talking like... They're talking like Cheshire cats or something, but every real cat is stoic as fuck. That's why the Lion King remake was trash. <laughs> the illustration on the book looks very lifelike. The pole cat, the pocket cat, seems to stare straight at you from the book pages. The pocket cat would say, So, 
how would you think we should handle the situation now that you've seen something you shouldn't have? Oh. Uh, I will reveal you for what you truly are. Damn. You will. But what will the others say when they hear what you did also? The pocket cat says with his tone. As his, tane, as his tone changes from gay to serious. He goes from having a lisp to just sounding like a news anchor. Yeah. I have opinions about stocks. <laughs> Pocket Cat confronts you by saying, what happened would bring shame to both of us. The Pocket Cat says, well, let us not dwell on those matters. The night is festive. It is full moon after all. While the cat-like man stares at the moon, he also murmurs something. Oh, the old one. My lullabies go to deaf ears. The humankind pursues the same goals persistently. That cat asks you one last question. If I were to get the moon itself to you, would you give up on your quest and lay with me here for tonight? No, I'm afraid I can't do that. You really are to torment my heart and souls, aren't you? The pocket cat says with a sad expression on his face. Huh. Huh. The book I wonder had what would have happened if we said yes. Would we have gotten an ending? <laughs> I don't know what would have happened there. Okay, wait. Isn't this one of the it's mannequins we saw? Yeah, lone yeah. figurine is left here. The pose of the figurine is puzzling. So it has huh. a hand on its stomach and on its leg. Do we have to, the like, thing... arrange them or something? Maybe. For me, I'm not there's sure. just a worry with the pocket cat where it feels imp like the first gut reaction is that the pocket cat is a predator hunting for children. Yeah. But, like, the weird, like, reaction to, like, some sort of god or something makes you almost wonder, like, if this is, like, some sort of, like, person that, like, some sort of entity that's given up on humanity and How is trying to, like. How am I back like, in the past? Uh. I didn't use the thing. Magic. Does circling through here move me to the past? Uh, God, I'm trying to remember oh, now. No. These things are a nightmare. Ah, uh, you've been stabbed. Eh. He doesn't fall over or anything. I guess not. Oh, he doesn't seem to disappear from my party either. Wait, what? Is he just immortal? He's immortal. Um. This is the growth liquid. Yeah, I almost got a vibe wondering if like he was like some kind of entity, like demigod that's like given up on humanity is now and is now potentially trying to rescue the young before they're corrupted or something. Oh, but that is obviously cat? an extremely divergent read from the first worry, so it's kind of a gamble. Yeah. Well, I think he definitely is the one that was mis like like disappearing the children. I wonder why it looped. Yeah, because you specific. But... Yeah, because you walked in this room previously, then got rid of them that way. But he, but what I find interesting is the fact that like. Uh. I don't think it was the past when you got here in the first place. Uh, no, uh... Was it? I I'm not know. sure. I feel like you explored the basement not in the past. And then it was suddenly the past when you came outside. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe that one room just makes it the past. Have you I talked to, uh... Enki? I can't get in that room yet. Oh. Down here? Yeah, let's maybe have to go around. There we go. There's okay. Enki. Okay. This place is one of the reasons I delve down here. Since the beginning of our time, they've kept recording the events, science, sciences, knowledge, and more. Found anything interesting? Hmm. A whole lifetime wouldn't be enough to browse through this place. The new ones. They've been passing on the Torch of Enlightenment for aeons. Who's currently holding the torch? You must know him. He is Valtiel the Enlightened One. Valtiel, that's the name of a Silent Hill boss. Hmm. Or god. 
Uh, who's currently holding? What happens if we say nothing? Or say, I'm not following. Of course you aren't. How about reading something instead of talking to me and maybe you might just get it? Wow. There's something written here. I am frustrated. Is there no solution? So frustrated. I think I'll go see my mannequins. Yeah, I understand that there's like a Hi. puzzle. <laughs> okay. That you're on a different floor than me, bud. How'd you manage this one? It'd be very funny if it, even though you're on different floors, it was then like you can't escape. <laughs> I would lose my mind. Go outside, I guess. Ooh. There's a hole that might be in a that statue, statue of Altiel, the enlightened one. Got the whole eyes thing going on. All right, so we're missing some statues. So maybe we need to go into the past and interact with the statues when they hmm. were fine? Question mark. I do yeah, not like death. the very the widescreen faced baby nightmares. Yeah, me neither. Is that a baby? He's got a knife. <laughs> There's eyes in the walls. There's so many babies here. Sure, keep hitting him. It's fine. I can't. I can't he's just unkillable. Do we even want I him refuse. to have a body? This cannot be the limits of my mind. I refuse. Anathomia. Alchemilia Volume 3. Have we already read that one? Uh, nope. Have we found a use for the black vial? Now we have one. So. Did craft. it just tell you? Yeah, black vial nitroglycerin. Explosive vial. Hey! Finally. That's all we can make, though. <laughs> well. Oh my god, get away from me. You would think this place was like big enough that just RNG you the entire game's codex of readable objects, basically. Yeah. Does that statue do anything? In this the one? middle? Statue of an eerie being, you're not sure if it's human or not. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. All right, Lagarde, my friend, it's time for you to chill out. Oh, I did mean to cloth myself real quick. Oh my god, I only have one cloth for- oh, well I don't need to worry about Neshra. Hello. Okay. Time there to memorize this YMCA. Here sitting in various poses. The last okay. three look like the Michael Jackson dance. Oh. Oh. I can edit them. Crap. Shit. <laughs> so the past one, the future one, gives you the answers for three of them, probably. Yeah. But we'd have to know what they were. Or I just could try to RNG it. Yep. Well, you're in luck. Since I've been recording, I can just cut my recording and check it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Cause I'm a hacker. I mean I assume this is randomized every playthrough as well. I'm we found one of the broken ones the past. was there, was like that. And I think I think the ones that were missing were on the far edge. And, and once you have and once you have four out of five, you can just spam the other one. Yep. But it doesn't like stop when we have it right, so it's okay. Yeah. Okay, so the the left one is hands over a head. Like that? Yeah. The second okay. one has like have I seen that post before? They're on their, they have a knee up. 
Yeah, like there it is. That? Okay. The fourth one is the yeah the crotch one, the knee, crotch and knee. Okay. He he, and we don't know the middle one or the fifth one. But you can, there it goes. You seem to have been busy. I suppose yeah. we're continuing to the deeper sanctums of this library. Enki joined our party again. Oh, heck yeah. yes. Yes. Co-op puzzles. Who is, who is that? Uh, there's an extensive smell of mold and dust in the air. Oh, whee. A man just jumped down into the darkness. Opium powder. Opium powder. Three silver coins. Okay, he didn't need to jump. There was a ladder. As you yeah, look down but... into the darkness, it almost looks like you see a giant shape floating towards you. <gasps> Is that the person that we saw dead on the ground? The blonde guy? Oh, because we're Whatever in the waits us seems omnipresent. I don't like that. Just below these ladders. Valtiel the Enlightened Valtiel, One is the enlightened there in the darkness. One. He is, he a, is miserable a miserable worm. worm. <laughs> Let's destroy him. Why, everyone's laying down. Are they hungry? Oh, I'm hungry, yeah. Oops. Thank you for noticing. Did we just Everyone. lose our legs for some reason? Why did I, why, what, what's the problem? I'm not, I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, there we go. I just needed to. I think they just take a moment to recover, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the soundtrack that ha play, this is the music that plays when you fight a god. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> This seems important. Valtiel, your time in the Grand Library of Mahabra has come to an end. <laughs> I'll take back what rightfully belongs to me. <clears throat> Slitting your mush of a brain is easy as sacrificing a new board to your false idols. The way that he looks at the screen freaks me out a little bit. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's I mean, a little not, bit unsettling. I mean, I mean, Nashra. Oh, yeah. Uh, a thousand he, damage, yes! Destroy his facts and logic. Yes, yes hit beat him. him up. Yes. Infinite health loser. Ah! Ah! No, it's gonna shoot a laser or something. I don't trust brain eye, which looks like that looks like a penis. It does. No. I don't, I lost my weapon. Uh oh. It is a penis. Oh, it is. Why? Why is it a brain penis? <laughs> there it goes. Not in my Christian let's play. Oh my God, you're, you're so fucked. I am. Uh, potion of full healing. Nope. Elixir of body. Skills. Nope. Left brain. Hurting. Nishra. Can't do anything, just has to attack. You're gonna have to do another sex to get your arm back. I am. Erp. Erp. Goodbye, Enki. You died how you lived, fighting the brain penis.
The enlightened one seems to react to poison strongly. Huh. I'm gonna die though because I don't have a way to cure bleeding. And I lost my ability to hold my weapon. You do a lot of damage for a one-armed blob man. Quick, fight his brain's balls. <laughs> I probably should have started the battle with that poison dart. Hadravalder's party was victorious. But at what Head cost? Valtiel, the Enlightened One, falls down to the darkness where it once rose. The millennia of wisdom and knowledge that is too much for a normal person to bear passes through your head. You only get glimpses of what is waiting for you on the other side, but this information stream is too much for your mind to handle. Your head hurts a little, but it doesn't matter as you can clearly feel how something greater has just started to change. The cogs of fear and hunger have just begun to rotate on a larger scale. You get an enlightened soul with you. You got two brains. Here lies Enki on a ladder somehow. You want to loot Enki's body? I can't. It wouldn't let me. No. Oh. I should have saved before that fight, and I knew it was coming, too. Mm -hmm. uh... Every time these moments happen, I then just kind of have that pit in my stomach where I'm just like, oh, God, when was the last save? I mean, again, we would have to do every it? single thing that we did this episode again. <laughs> yeah. What we need to do is, is make oh. a new body in the lab like that guy wants, but then take it for yourself. An empty water tank is standing here. There's some scratch marks on the surface of the tanks. On a closer look, you notice that many of the scratch marks are actually inside the tank, suggesting that whatever was kept there didn't like its fate. Oh. All right, I'm now on the right side. What was that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> another Lord of Flies. Oh. He's, oh. That, that, there's no city there. The moment you come to the close to vicinity of the beast, you smell its repulsive odor emanating from the filthy fur on its back. The smell hits you like a wall. It doesn't help that you see maggots crawling under the surface of the fur. Ew, that's why it's oh, called Lord no. of Flies. Oh, how am I bleeding? Uh, I can't fight against it. I mean, did, did you ever bandage your missing limb? I don't have any bandages. Well, then, of course you're bleeding. <laughs> It'd be way weirder if you weren't bleeding. The Snatcher. The beast wants to manhandle me. Oh. Oh, you get it grabbed. grabbed. It, the graps is tight. <laughs> you are being manhandled in the embrace of the hairy beast. I want uh. the hairy beast to manhandle me. <laughs> You feel your ribs breaking. Desperately, you try to twist yourself free, but the beast strength outmatches you by far. You lose consciousness. Type, Type error, error cannot, cannot read cannot property, read scope, property of scope of null. <laughs> you found the worst ending of all, the game breaking one. We got the game crash ending when I don't have a save for the past two hours. See you next episode when we do all of this over again. Yeah.